Lads, welcome back to Fusion YGO. Today, the mascot is joining me uh, for the first time in y literal years, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna be doing my ban list prediction video today. They honestly just wanna talk about the ban list as a unknown entity. So what do I mean by that? What are we gonna do? Like, this is such a weird format because there's not really anything that I think is gonna happen that's gonna massively change the game, right? right. So what we have is what are things that they could bring back that would be able to compete and limit the power without crippling people's investment into the format. I could see Bonfire going to one. It hits a lot of decks, it hits consistency, it doesn't take out any direct cards. I could see Snake Eye Ash going to one because it's super rare from an older set. I could see, there's a couple of cards that could go down to one in terms of like the other cards inside of Fire King, uh, inside of Snake Eye. Diabellstar is likely not to get hit, and neither is Wanted, really. Wanted only searches Diabellstar, and Diabellstar gets everything else going. Something else you could do is you could ban Temple of the Fire Kings. It makes the mirror match really weird. It makes it pretty awkward. Um, you, could do, you could make the argument that you ban uh, IP Mascarena. That card is incredibly strong. But it's not likely that they're going to get rid of things like Promethean Princess. It's not likely that they're going to get rid of Poplar. It really isn't likely that they're going to get rid of Bonfire. Yeah. So, what's the most likely outcome? Well, I think I have an idea. The more I'm sitting here talking to you about it, the more I think we can see some things happening. So, let's dive into what I think is going to happen. Mm -hmm. First, the most important part is the bans. And I don't think there's a lot of cards that really are going to get banned. I don't think it's going to be a big ban list. I think this is going to be... Uh, more of a checks and balances. Now, the card that's enabling the FTK is that fusion monster. I predict it getting banned. I forget its name. I could also see Gimmick Puppet Nightmare getting banned or Albion the Sanctifier Dragon. I think Albion is fine. I think Nightmare is kind of a bigger problem. They just reprinted it. They've made their money on it. Realistically, it's probably going away. Let's assume those are probably the only two bans we're gonna get. I don't think it's going to be big. So, the bands, realistically, it's going to be Gimmick Puppet Nightmare, probably, and the Fusion Fire Pyro thing that causes the FTK. Oh, yeah. That's it. For the limits, I can see limiting happening to a few cards. I think there's... So it's one of these two. I don't think it's both. I think it's one or the other. Snake Eye Ash or Bonfire going to one. I think it's completely within the world of reason. I don't think it kills people's investment because Bonfire just limits consistency and Ash just limits consistency. I do think Ash is a very strong card. I think because it's more of an archetypal card, it could stay at, one, at three and Bonfire goes to one because it's generic. But it's between those two cards, one of them is realistically probably getting limited. The other cards that I think could get limited would be cards I think that could come back to one overall. I'm not sure of any. You could make the argument that Colossus could come back right now because it would be a necessary evil. I don't, I'm not in agreement with that. I think Colossus is a very powerful floodgate monster and it has protection, but one Colossus might be fine. So knowing Konami and seeing what they've done in the past, it is very possible that we will get Thunder Dragon Colossus back to one. I don't expect it at more than one. Another couple of cards that we could get back to one, uh, or that could go to one. Cross out Designator, I could see going to one as well. Um, with all the hand trap stuff that's going on, I could see it happening just to make the game more playable. Um, it would either be that or I'm not sure what, honestly. Um, Something that's insulating people going first. I could see Triple Tactics Thrust going to one. I could see Talent going to one. I think those are both definitely limitable cards. The semi-limits is where things I think could get really interesting with a lot of cards getting moved up to two. So Jackalope and Tsuchinoko, the danger is getting moved to two, I think is possible. I think they're past their prime. Um, I think Orcus Tarpor going to two would be fine. It doesn't do anything now. It's not going to do anything with it at two. Uh, yes, that is a personal pick, but... They freed my boy, just free him. He's not gonna do anything anymore. We're past that point. Uh, the other thing we could see is we could see maybe a couple of tears coming back to two. I could see Siren, Murley, and Havness all coming to two, 
And without Kit Kalos, I mean, I could see Kit Kalos honestly coming back to one. Because I think one kit without the Ashizu stuff really is fair. And putting two of each tier limit is fine. I don't think it's going to kill the format. It's not full power, it's not even close. But it would give it some consistency and at least allow a cool deck to be in the format. So those are two things I could see happening. And last but not least, the Unlimits. I'm less excited about this, but honestly, we could see Engage come back to three. Sky Striker really can't compete. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. This is a weird format. This is a weird ban list. So here's what I think is gonna happen as a quick recap. For the bans, Christian will put the card up on screen right here. It's gonna be the fire monster that enables the FTK. It's that fusion monster. The other ban being Gimmick Puppet Nightmare. As a branded player, I get it, Bye bye For the limits, Thunder Dragon Colossus, I think, is probably gonna come back to one. I think Bonfire or Ash, Snake Eye Ash, one of the two is gonna go to one. Um, if I was a betting person, I'd probably bet on Bonfire. I think Tier Limits Kit Kalos can also come back to one. It's fine as a one of. It's fine. To the semi limits, Orgastar Power to two, the Danger Suchinoko and the Danger Jackalope to two. And of course, all three of the main deck tiers that were limited back to two. I think they'd be fine. I think it's been long, like it's been just did long enough and all the power cards are crapped out. So love to see them at two. Uh, makes the deck playable. And last but not least, at three, it's gonna be Engage. Engage the three, I think could happen. But these are just my thoughts. Uh, my thoughts are the ramblings of a crazy person trying to figure out a format that doesn't make any sense to him. It's evolving and it's changing constantly. So I think this could be a format where we could see a small ban list that's highly impactful by releasing more cards than it's banning and limiting and allowing them to breathe. Again, those are just my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you haven't joined the Discord, please do. I'd love to hear your bad ban list and your good ban list takes into my Discord. So, until next time, lads, good fun, have luck, and don't forget to subscribe and like. Have a good one.